Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mike. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great today. And in today's video, we'll talk about the iFlight Nazgul Evoke. One of the hottest products out there. It's just been announced and it's probably one of the best bind and fly quadcopters that you can buy right now. Before I start with the video, please do me a huge favor. If you have enjoyed this intro, drop a like on the video, maybe drop a sub if you want to see more videos like this one and help me reach those 100k guys we're on the last stretch in today's video we'll talk about my experience with the iflight nazgul evoke i've been flying it for the past week or so and i've been trying it out in different scenarios this is the 6s version and it's also the dead cat version the the position the geometry of the front arms is in dead cat position meaning that you will have less visibility of the props inside your camera however they do also offer this same drone but with the true x configuration meaning that you will have a little bit of the props showing inside your fpv camera it's not going to be visible on your gopro so don't worry about that but it's up to you to decide which geometry fits you best now the first thing i want to start this review is the unboxing experience because i think iFlight has massively stepped up their game when it comes to user experience and just making everything as easy as possible for their customers when they buy this new drone and they open the box they want to make it a nice experience for you so i was definitely impressed to see how everything was put together everything has its own place you see all the different cables the props the nut tools the screws all the different parts of the drone are nicely put into the box and they have their own position you have a nice foam that keeps everything nice and tight and secure and i think this is probably the best unboxing experience i've ever had on an fpv drone and it's a little thing but i think it's important to mention it as it really makes a difference now the first thing you will notice when you take this drone in your hand is that it looks very very different compared to a regular fpv drone and the biggest reason why is because it's protected from all sides you have protection around the components inside all around this drone and you have some really cool led lights on the bottom as well so as soon as you turn it on you will see green all around this drone and all directions pretty much you have some nice led lights that are not only for making this drone looking more appealing and more beautiful they also serve a purpose so when your battery gets to a certain voltage it goes from green to orange and when it gets to a critically low voltage it gets from orange to red this thing definitely lights up very very strongly and it's uh, it's a very nice drone very good looking drone uh, i think this is probably the best drone that i've ever flown in terms of looks but of course looks are definitely not what you're looking for when you're buying an fpv drone so how does it fly flying this drone was a great experience in general i have felt a lot of power from it because of those zinc 2 motors that it comes with the zinc 2 motors are probably one of my favorite motors i've ever tested i have them on another quad and it's very very nice experience to fly with them they have a lot of power but at the same time they're very very smooth at all times so it's really up to you to decide how you want to use this drone you can use it for cinematic purposes or you can also use it for freestyle it's really up to you you can do it all with this quad now the rest of the components are the new cadex vista polar which is this new polar camera that cadex has just released it's a brand new camera and i have to say uh, it is a good camera however i don't like the fact that it only comes in 16 by 9 video aspect ratio uh, i'm used to using 4 by 3 aspect ratio now in 16 by 9 it crops out a little bit of the top portion and the bottom portion of your uh, your image so you're left with a little bit of a cropped um, image inside your goggles which of course limits your view a little bit and i don't like that um, also it can only be flown in low latency mode there is no high um, high quality mode on this camera but for me that's not an issue as i always use uh, low latency mode in my dji fpv goggles so it's really not bad at all the quality itself is pretty good i would say but this camera is very very powerful and also very good uh, in low light situations like i said i haven't tested the drone yet 
during the night and it's on my list of things I want to do with it. But for now, I've noticed that during the daytime, it has a lot of detail, it is crispy, it, it looks just as the other Cadex Nebula Pro cameras that I've used before. Um, the only problem, like I said, is the fact that uh, crops your, uh, your image a little bit on top and bottom. Now, another thing which I just cannot neglect is the fact that this drone comes with integrated XT60 connector. It's protected and it's just sitting there on the back of the drone. I hope the camera will be able to focus. It's right here. Uh, and for the rest of my quads, it's always an issue to have an XT connector that is secured, that it's not going to get into the way of the props, it's not going to be cut by the props or anything like that. So here, iFlight has decided to just securely put it in one place and just uh, make it sit there all the time. There's some TPU parts that are holding it together with some screws, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, and it's, it's a really nice small thing that I really appreciate because uh, it just saves you some some trouble when inevitably you're going to to cut some of your cables with your props. Sometimes it happens, especially when you crash into something. It does happen uh, from time to time. So now with this configuration of the XT60 connector, it's not going to happen. So it's uh, it's a little bit safer. Now before I waited this quad, I was thinking that because of all of that extra protection from all the sides, all that TPU, and all the things that this drone has. Uh, I was thinking that this drone will be very, very heavy, but fortunately that's not the case. So the taller weight of this quad with everything on it and the GoPro and the battery and everything else is 821 grams, which is pretty much the same weight as all of my other quads uh, because of that heavy battery and the heavy GoPro Hero 9 Black. The weight is a little bit uh, more compared to a light freestyle quad. However, I'm really, really used to that weight, so it's really not a problem for me. And it has all the power to get you out of sticky situations. So for me, the weight and the extra protection is actually a good thing. It's not bothering me in terms of weight or performance. So I would say that it's, it's just pretty good for what you're getting. Everything has its own label, even the link button for the Vista, which is pretty much invisible behind these protection uh, plates right here on the side of the drone. And I of course have removed most of the other writings and little labels, but I was pleasantly surprised to see how much iFlight has worked to make sure that everyone can know what this drone is all about, even the turning direction of the motors. You have some little signs that tell you which way the motors are going to spin. So you don't have to guess anymore uh, like it was in the past. Here you take a quick look around the drone and you already know what most of the buttons do and where you need to press so you can link this to your remote. And I think iFlight has done a great job to make this as hassle-free as possible and as easy as possible to set up. So great job on that. Now when it comes to the price, I am not too happy to say that this is just under $500 in this current configuration without the GoPro and the battery of course. but having in mind that this is the 6S version, which is more powerful, and also it comes with the TBS Crossfire receiver, which, which also adds about $30, I would say. Um, it is a regular price nowadays. Unfortunately, these drones are becoming more and more expensive instead of becoming more and more uh, cheap. However, you do get a lot for your money. So uh, even though I think it's, it's a little bit steep, I am still quite happy with this drone. I wouldn't say it's um, it's pointlessly uh, expensive. You have a lot of protection for your components, meaning that when you crash, which of course you will, um, some of these components will be able to take a lot more damage before they actually break. So that's kind of saving you some money in the long run. I was following some electric go-karts the other day with this quad and they were surprisingly quick, um, which of course I knew they would be fast, but I didn't know they would be that fast. But this drone had almost no trouble keeping them in frame and just keeping them in the shot at all times. I was following them at probably next to maximum throttle, just trying to be as quick as them. And they were raced by professional pilots. So it was a little bit difficult to get used to that sensation of using my throttle at 100% most of the time, but I had a lot of fun flying this iFlight 
Nazgul Evoke drone and just like the previous Nazgul I think this drone solves pretty much all the needs for most people. For most people it's important to have a reliable fast but also smooth flying drone and this checks all these boxes and I think it's very quick it's very smooth at all times it is a little bit uh, more expensive but like I said it's very very well protected it's very good looking so if that's something that will make you spend less money on other components that you would normally break with another drone then in the long run this is actually a great investment so it's up to you to decide whether it's something that you want to purchase but personally for me trying it out i had a lot of fun i had a blast and uh, i will definitely keep flying with it as uh, as much as I, I can i just want to fly with it more uh, because i want to explore more possibilities with this um, and just knowing that the stack inside the Vista are protected and are a little bit more secure. It gives me a little bit more peace of mind. It's, it's something small, but definitely adds up to the whole flying experience. And uh, that's something that I really enjoy, especially that XT60 connector. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I'll catch you in my next video very, very soon. Take care and goodbye.